ton of it. It should be, <laughs> absolutely. Here's what it looked like at 7.30 this morning, and uh, we put that in motion and watched as it was still snowing throughout the day. It is not snowing right now in Dallas, and the forecast is for 19 tonight, 40 tomorrow, and about uh, 40, 45 on game day with a chance for a few showers. No more big storms like they just had. I'll tell you what, Jed, it was... Phenomenal five to eight inches of snowfall in the Dallas area today. They they don't see that kind of snow very often. Okay, all right, here we we are, folks. We're flying around and uh, they are doing some snow machine work. This helps the skiers on the hillside. Whether it's uh, that looks to me like we're up by uh, Snow Basin. Yes, that is definitely Snow Basin. They use the snow machines to make the snow really nice for those of us who don't want to ski on moguls. <laughs> and uh, you notice we had a lot of clouds today. In fact, a little bit of snow falling in a few spots in the mountains. Minus 8 in Montpelier. Winds are gusting in Rock Springs, 20 to 40 miles per hour. Had a wind gust in, reported in the Hanna area of 54 miles per hour. That's on the downslope side of the Uintas. So we're getting some very strong winds in the mountaintops and the downslope areas of the Uintas right here. And also in the downslope areas where the winds are coming out of the north, uh, blowing pretty hard right now. 33 in the capital city. Today's high temperature, one of the warmest days we've seen in a while. We actually got above freezing, didn't we? Vernal, you're, you're eight right now. But over the next few days, we'll get those downslope winds that will scour out the Uinta Basin and warm you up a little bit. Lots and lots of moisture extending from here all the way back across the Pacific. And these storms are going to move into Utah. They're, they're storms that sort of graze us, but they are storms that will have an impact on your Saturday and a bigger impact. That storm that's out there way in the Pacific will be here Monday afternoon. In the meantime, the storm that is expected right here, this one, this will slide down and be with us during the day tomorrow. The air is cold enough for all snow. So one to two inches in the valleys, two to four on the benches, six to 10 inches in the mountains. The next storm system, this is a weak weather system on Sunday that'll keep a few showers around, but I'm more concerned about the next one because it has Arctic air. And that Arctic air is going to bring a blast of snow and cold on Monday, late in the day, Monday night and Tuesday morning. That's why Cache Valley, you have the wind and the breezy and the snow for two days, uh, Monday and Tuesday. Same thing for the Wasatch back. Snow will fall tomorrow. We'll get a chance for snow on Sunday. Then gusty winds and lots of snow on Monday and Tuesday. This is a one to two foot snowstorm for the mountains in addition to what we're going to see tomorrow. So six to 10 inches tomorrow and then one to two feet for skiers on Monday and Tuesday. The basin gets a little bit of snow. The same thing for Price on Tuesday. It's a pretty good sized storm system. It will impact much of central and northern Utah. So if you have to travel Tuesday, Tuesday is the day that you are going to have the biggest problems going over Soldier Summit or going over Mont uh, Monticello or up into the northern part of the state. Again, you can see those showers on Tuesday for southeastern Utah. For Cedar City, this cold front will arrive right around um, 8, 9, 10 p.m. So Pretty good chance for some snow on Tuesday, so 8 or 9 or 10 p.m. Monday night into Tuesday. Too much of a downslope for the St. George area, so as you can see here, we'll have wind and drops in temperature, but no precipitation. The Wasatch Front, snow tomorrow, 1 to 2 in the valleys, 2 to 4 on the benches, 6 to 10 in the mountains, and then rain and snow Monday morning, turning all to snow in the afternoon, Monday night and Tuesday. So it's a commuter special going home, and again on Tuesday morning, this one should have several inches of snow for the valleys and one to two feet in the mountains. And then notice it gets cold. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jed, cold again uh, next week. Good news, though, is no more smog. Sounds good, Dan. Well, even if